Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go over how to charge, discharge, and store nickel-based battery packs using Tenergy's TB6AC, which is an 80 watt charger. This charger is compatible with NICAD and nickel metal hydride battery packs that are one to 15 cells. After plugging the cable, the charger menu will look like this. Press decrease or increase until you see nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium program, and then press the start button to select it. Press increase or decrease to select the mode that you want. There are a total of three operating modes, including charge, discharge, and cycle. We'll use this battery pack as an example for today's tutorial. It's a nickel metal hydride battery pack with a nominal voltage of six volts and a capacity of 2000 milliamps. Let's get into how to charge it. First, connect the battery's connector to the charger. Then, press decrease or increase buttons until you see the charge mode. Then, press the start button to select it. You can see that nickel metal hydride text is blinking now. To select NICAD, press decrease or increase until you see NICAD. Since this battery is nickel metal hydride, I'll select the nickel metal hydride type and then press enter. Now the value of the charge current is blinking. You can change the value from 0.1 amp to 8 amp by pressing the decrease or increase buttons. To know which current to charge your battery at, you can follow this formula. Max charge current is equal to battery capacity times 1C. This battery has a capacity of 2 amp hours. The max charge current will be 2 amp hours multiplied by 1C, giving us 2 amps. Please note that constantly charging the battery at its maximum charge current will produce a lot of stress for the battery and even damage it. So I'll charge this one at 1 amp instead. Now press and hold enter to start charging. During charging, you'll be able to keep track of the current battery's voltage, the charge time, and the charge capacity measured in milliamp hours. The charger will make a ring to let you know when it's done charging. Now, let's move on to how to discharge the battery pack. The discharging process is also similar to the charging process, except that the discharge current will be a range of 0.1 amp to 1 amp. In the nickel metal hydride nickel cadmium battery program, press decrease or increase until you see the discharge mode. Press enter to select it. Press decrease or increase to select your battery's chemistry. Then press enter again. Adjust the discharge current value to your liking by pressing the decrease and increase buttons. Now press enter to go to the next settings. Then press decrease or increase to select the battery's discharge voltage. Press and hold the start button to begin discharging. The operation screen is the same as the charging screen. It shows the current battery's voltage and the discharge time and the discharge capacity measured in milliamp hours. The charger will make a ringtone to let you know when it's done discharging. Let's move on to how to cycle the battery. Cycle mode allows your battery to be repeatedly charged and discharged. It's necessary for new NICAD batteries to allow them to reach their peak performance. Between each cycle, the charger will pause for 5 minutes by default. We recommend setting the timer for more than 20 minutes to allow your battery enough time to cool down. To change the cooling time, continue pressing stop until it goes back to the main menu. Then press decrease and increase until you see the user setting program. Press enter to select it. Press decrease and increase until you find waste time. Then press enter again. Press the decrease and increase to change the waste time to your preference. I'll set this one at 30 minutes. Then press enter to confirm your settings. Now press the stop button to go back to the main menu and let's learn how to cycle them. Press decrease and increase buttons until you see nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium program. Then press start button to select it. Now press the decrease and increase button until you see the cycle mode and then press enter to confirm. Press the decrease and increase button to select your battery's chemistry. Then press enter to go to the next setting screen. Now you have two options to choose from. 
whether you want to discharge the battery first or the other way around. Press the decrease and increase button to change the options. Then press enter to go to the next setting. Now press the decrease and increase buttons to change the number of cycles you want the chargers to run. Then press and hold start to enter cycling. The operation screen is also the same as the charging screen. When it's done, the charger will ring to let you know that the cycling process is complete. And that's it for our tutorial. 